Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another video, and we got Rena and Lee, which my 600-pound couples is my favorite to watch, just because usually there's kind of a weird dynamic there, kind of a caretaker lover relationship. It usually is a little weird, and uh, typically it doesn't work out the best when there's two people that are both overweight trying to lose weight because one usually has a negative effect on the other. But uh, let's check it out and see what exactly Rena and Lee's talking about. The only thing harder than destroying your life with your own choices is destroying the life of someone you love at the same time. True. every 600 pound person have a chevy tahoe or a suburban this should this should just be an ad for chevy like my 600 pound life sponsored by chevy it's got big nipples <gasps> puppy Is your oxygen tube supposed to be that brown? Because that would be bacteria in there, right? Forcing myself to start each day is just miserable. Join the club. Because I've gotten so big, my body feels like I'm in a prison. I'm just trapped. Cell block cellulitis is kind of the name of the game when you're 600 pounds, but the trash can's full of soda. You could tell they eat like crap. And both of them on that bed, it could be an ad for whatever mattress that is too. There's all kinds of sponsorship deals that could go on here. It's torture every day. And my body is so bad now that I'm even having trouble breathing, but I can't even take the time to worry about myself. Because my boyfriend can't do Oh, I love dogs with a little gray face. That dog's so cute. But that poor thing you know is not getting walked enough. Do anything for himself anymore. You ready to help me pee, sweetheart? Yeah. All right. So I have Woo. to help him before I can take care of myself. Do you have to glove up to touch his gooch if he's your boyfriend? Because I, I guess you should for sanitary reasons. I'm just saying you might have touched it before. I don't know what's going on here. Just living life is a struggle daily. So there's many days that I don't get out of bed because of the pain. And I hate what I'm doing too, Renee. But the only times I can get up, I have to have help. Sorry. Trying to figure out what the tattoo on his belly button is, but it just kind of looks like a rooster humping a spider web, so I'm not sure what it is yet. So, if it wasn't for my girlfriend, I wouldn't be living right now. I know. But it is more important for me to be clean than to worry about somebody helping me. I just feel bad because I know she's in pain and it's hard for her. I'm miserable every day. And some days I just want to give up. Hefty hooker bath, but also she's probably not as big as him just because she's the one doing most of the stuff around the house or getting up and caring for him primarily. But I can't. Because no matter how hard it is, we will die if I don't take care of him. So, to me, he needs it more than I do. So that's what I'm going to do. Typical lady putting someone else before them. But this guy's also like a G-cup, man. I don't think... I'm like a B-cup or something now. Even doing the smallest thing is a painful experience. Mm. 
I need your help. I'm shaking really bad. And when I try and take a shower, it's pretty much a full day job because it just wears me out. And I'm just ready to be done after he. That's all awful. I mean, he's going to have chub rub for sure just because he can't get into certain areas, but you can already see the discolored skin. That can get dangerous real fast, as big as he is, and it'll lead to like some nasty infections, hospitalizations, stuff like that. But getting the conditioner all up on the crotch is what she's kind of doing here, I guess. I've been a few minutes trying to sit there. I just can't handle it for long. That's what she said. I do it down. Get up, pass out, baby. A person of our size requires a lot of attention, a lot of care. If you're not careful, you get break opens in the skin, tears, ribs. You gotta make sure they're clean, they're lotioned, they're dry, taken care of. Hygiene, super important, obviously, anytime. But when you're this big, it's a lot harder to keep certain areas clean, stuff like that. So her doing this for him is probably like life-saving. Cause like I said, it can get pretty bad pretty fast. Captain, we are. It kills me worse to see Lee when he's having issues than it does myself. They've got two mattresses. So my first thought is if he slides down between that thing, He's just gone. Like when I was a little kid and I thought something was going to reach out and pull me under the bed. It's going to have Lee and he's going to be done for. But that's who I've always been. I've always taken care of everybody else. <laughs> and I've never had time to take care of me. I like her, but you got to be a little selfish in life. Like you can't just be everything for somebody else so at some point you got to care about yourself too i know i know she's just trying to be like a good girlfriend here but i'm worried that this is going to carry on through the whole episode and he's just going to kind of be a douche so once i finish with lee then i can finally take care of myself but by the time i'm done I am very exhausted. Do they not make shower heads? Also, where the hell did that hose go? I'm thinking all kinds of places that thing is sitting right now, and I don't even want to know. I am hurting, shaking, can't breathe. Is that a real shake, or is she... F that looked fake to me. When somebody's, like, legit shaking, you can tell. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a dick. And then when I stand up, my skin apron hangs so far down that it pulls on my back and it pulls on my shoulders. It's miserable. I miss being able to feel like a woman. Now I feel like I'm a sideshow. You hear that so much on this show, people just like not even thinking of themselves as human anymore, or human anymore. It gets bad, man. You start to think really low of yourself. That's why I'm big on the kind of think highly of yourself no matter what. I'd consider it being in living hell, being in this body. And I hate the imprisonment of the weight. And then I started losing my mobility. And that's when I knew I had to do something. So I think that's all of our biggest fear. Like when you're not mobile anymore, I mean, it scares the hell out of you. At least that's what I was most afraid of personally. I didn't want to get to that point, man. And I was getting like right there. I could get to the mailbox and back and that was about friggin' it. So I contacted a bariatric clinic and they said they would take me. 
I okay. was there to get help and hoping to turn my life around. But when I met Renee there, we fell in love and had to leave. So we never got the help we needed. Really? You got kicked out? How? You could fall in love anywhere, but when you're both there to lose weight, you don't need the Twinkie team teaming up and putting their superpowers out there where they just eat everything. Like, just focus on you and losing weight. It seems like kind of a cop-out, like we fell in love. And since we've been together, we both just kept gaining. Because outside of each other, food is all we both have. And the only activity we do, and the only reason we ever go out, is to get food. But I can barely make it to the car, and Renee can't walk for long on her own. If you're laying in bed all day, and the only reason you leave the house is to get food, it says a lot about you as a person. Like, obviously you know you're in a bad state, my man. Come on. Take it a little more serious. But then again, that switch in your head kind of has to flip where you want to be better. So we have to bring our electric chairs. And Renee has to load them up. Poor Renee. It's extremely hard to get both of our chairs loaded up for us. But if I don't... I've never seen anybody ghost ride the wheelchair like that, but this is bringing back Fat and the Furious vibes for sure. No. There's no way I could walk through a store now. Because my legs shake, my legs give out, I can't breathe. It's just too much. I like Renee, but I feel like he could 100% do some of this. And he just knows that she'll do it, so he doesn't have to. And the only way that we are able to get grocery shopping done is to work together as a team. Because neither one of us would be able to do it by ourselves. That's a piggly wiggly if I ever seen one. You don't see too many grocery stores like that anymore, unless you're in like rural America. But once we're inside, the anxiety of being in public starts to sink in because it's like going through the walk of shame. I feel judged by the outside world because I'm different. Ethel, like who cares? People. People have their own lives. They're going to look at you because you're both rolling in there, probably throwing brownies in the friggin' cart, knowing that you're every bit of a like half-ton team right here. So people are going to look, whatever, screw them, just roll out and get your Rolos or whatever. They're not used to seeing somebody of my size. It's like driving down the highway and seeing a train wreck. You're not going to not stare at it. You're going to sit and stare at it and wonder what happened. It's just embarrassing. But grocery shopping is important for us to do. The one thing in the cart, some kind of fudge something. But yeah, people rubberneck the Reese's, whatever. They're going to look at you. Who cares? So we can eat. You said you wanted chips. When I start to shop, I'm so hungry. Once I get home, I know I'm just going to eat everything. Definitely need soda. Because when I'm eating, it, it's almost like feeling an emptiness in my body. Yeah. How many packs of bacon you want? Uh, a couple or? Yeah. It's like laying down and getting a good massage. Well, we need some mayonnaise. And when it's over, you just want more. How'd they go from bacon to massages? This guy's brain is definitely on a different wave, wavelength than mine. But they got a whole cart full of junk. Obviously, they're not going to lose weight on whatever diet they just friggin' grabbed. So, uh, I'd say they're not very concerned at this point at all. Careful. So I can't wait to get home and eat. We'll eat everything here, either today or by tomorrow. And I know... In two days? How the hell do you afford that? That's insane to think you could put down that much in two days. Oh, doing this is killing us. 
You okay, baby? You did good. But we both can't stop. We're already barely functioning as it is. And it's just a matter of time before it's too late. Ginger Gage is climbing again. Well, cool the lights on. We'll stop here. Uh-oh. Get straight. Oh, well, I guess this isn't the ad for Tahoe's that I originally thought it was. This could get bad fast. The car is overheating. Now what do we do? This is not good. I don't know what to do. The car is not going anywhere, and we won't last here long without air conditioning. You just dump some water in there, and it should be able to go fine. Did you not buy any water? Do you think Mountain Dew could cool it down? Because they got a hell of a lot of Mountain Dew. Why does he have a lady pooping out an avocado on his arm? Lee and me are stuck on the side of the road right now. And we're not really sure what's wrong with the car, but Lee thinks it might be overheated. And it's so humiliating because we are both too big to even get out of the car to figure it out. Sometimes I just feel like a use useless individual. I get that, but how much mileage do you think those wheelchairs have? Like, do you think they could make it the rest of the way home? Because I'm curious how far those things could travel. Because I've seen ladies rolling down the friggin' highway with their little flags on the back before. I just didn't know how long they could typically go. I asked my sister to bring us some cooler water to try to cool everything down. Well, he I knows that. I have gas and everything else seems fine. So if overheating is not the issue, then I don't know what we're going to do. We aren't going to last much longer in the heat. I'm already feeling really lightheaded. So, just hope she gets here soon. Doesn't even look that damn hot. Like, they're not sweating. They're just all red in the face. Probably because they're hungry. They want to eat some of that stuff. Oh, thank God. Thank you so much for coming and helping us. Dump one in and then I'll start it and let it suck it up and we'll put the other one. As a man, I would feel some type of way if I had to call for rescue from my sister. Just that speaking to my pride as a guy, right? It, it wouldn't let me do that. I'd sit there and be friggin' abandoned all day. I'd, I, I just don't think I could call for help. I'm going down with the ship. about that much in the bottom of the overflow. It'll get us down the road. If not, call me. I'll bring you out a couple more. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, at least they gave her gas money because she did have to come out there and help them. I hate having to be helped. It makes me feel worthless. See the avocado? It was getting really scary there after a while. I know the situation could have turned out much, much worse. And that there's going to be a day where someone isn't going to be able to come and help us. So I know... That's a new type of curbside delivery, though. Just drive right through the yard. You think they've ever been stuck in the mud in their wheelchair before? Because what if it rained a bunch? Do you think they'd get stuck? that we just can't keep living like this and oh, that time yeah. is running out for us. Oh, my knee's about to give out. <sighs> Lee and I have to lose this weight now so we can pursue our life together before it's too late. At least she knows the severity. A lot of people kind of just they'll ignore the severity of the situation they're in just because like they want to pretend it's not an issue until it's absolutely this out of control but lee's already doing like fat fire drills to get out of bed he's rolling over trying to get out of there 
So they're definitely in a bad way, and she's the better off one because she's doing more of the physical stuff around the house, maybe. But the dogs? I haven't seen anybody let the damn dogs outside yet, so that's the issue I'm having right now. I've dreamed of that future. But now, I am so afraid that I am not going to live long enough to marry the woman that I love and that I no longer even have a future unless someone can save me from myself. You say that while you're taking down some chili cheese tots at friggin' Sonic. At least I think it's Sonic. I hate when everybody stares at you just sitting here eating. Yeah. They're not when they're driving it. by. It's like, it's like they ain't never seen a fat guy shove a hamburger in his face. No, they've seen fat guys eat hamburgers before. they just never seen a car squatting that low with that many doubles in it. I hope we find a town soon. I just gotta pee real bad. I drank that big old drink. Think you can stick that urinal down my britches and help me pee? I can try. We may have to hit a dirt road or something if we don't find something soon. Chilling on a dirt road, peeing down my leg, and it's so warm. We've only been on the road for a few hours, and it's already starting to get tough. And when you're a person of my size, you have to do what you have to do. But there's no way I could even think about walking into the store and peeing. I'm going to pull over here where we're out of everybody's line of vision. So we just have to figure it out. Just using the bathroom what most people would take for granted. Most men can just stand, whip it out anywhere, and pee anywhere. His problem is going to lie in his mupa or male fupa. He's going to have to get that out of the way, unless he's really slinging lumber down there, which I don't think he is. But uh, that's going to be his issue with peeing or whatever. It's going to be a little tougher when you get a little bigger. But as a guy, you should still just be able to stand, push that stuff out of the way, and go to town. With Lee, he has to be laid down. And someone else has to hold the urinal for him in place just for him to be able to pee. That person, nine times out of 10, is me. And when I do it, I have to stand to do it. So therefore, it exerts me also. This poor lady, man. She is getting the rawest deal I've ever seen on this show so far as the couple goes, because she's severely in bad shape. He's in real bad shape, and then she's just having to get out and play like Jug Gigolo with his junk, and it just kind of sucks for her. I'm sorry, baby. One of these days, I'll be able to just get out and stand and pee. And after I'm done, I'm so exhausted. Renee sacrifices herself every day to make sure my needs are taken care of. People say, what's your goal weight? I don't have a goal weight. My goal weight is to take care of myself. Not to have to have somebody to help me. It's not the worst thing. Or I'd say setting a goal is a good idea, but a lot of people, you just want to focus on short-term goals because it's a lot to overcome, man. Think about how big he is. He looks like he's in the 700s here. Sweetheart. Yes. You still love me? Yes. I have a bag of that popcorn back there. Yes. You're going to piss yourself on the road, so you ask for popcorn when you can't even find your wiener while you... Oh my god, dude. This guy is pretty damn bad. He loves food more than anything. And I don't even think he cares that much about her. He cares more about what she's going to do for him, really, because he seems to be the most loving when he wants something. What doctor now tells us determines whether we have any hope for our future or not. So if Dr. Now rejects us for any reason, then we're about to find out that our lives are over. We just didn't know it. You're going to have to keep hope alive. No matter what, that's the most important thing. Because so many people just fall into the pit of despair that is being this big, myself included. But you're going to have to realize that there's a chance for you to turn this all around, have the life you always wanted. You're just going to have to find that fire inside you, and instead of just letting it kind of smolder, you gotta let it burn bright here. Yeah. It's been such a long ride down here to Houston, and now that we're finally here, we're about to find out what we wait. 
and if Dr. Now can help us. And I'm just nervous about all of it. I don't think she's 600. 549. Disqualified. Get out of here. This is 600 pound life, not 549 pound life. You're cheating. You are cheating. I knew I'd still been gaining some overall, but that's higher than I was expecting. And I'm really just disappointed in myself right now. I'm not looking forward to this. I can tell Renee isn't too happy about her weight, but I'm worried that mine's gonna be much more of a shock. That's going to be pretty bad, like toxic shock bad. But also, I don't think he emptied his pockets, so he's at least five pounds lighter than he thinks he is. I'm just hoping I'm still in the 600 range. 714. Oh, oh shit. Really? really heartbreaking. Should have pushed up a little harder on them canes, taking a few pounds off, but... He's holding at least 50 pounds of water weight, so we'll call it 664. I realized that my weight had gotten so out of control. Aw. I just hope Dr. Now's going to be able to help us change this and get our lives back. This will see you all later. Okay. I'm right here waiting for you all. Well, you came to the right place. You got the Fat Avenger on it. Dr. Now is a no-nonsense, like no games type of doctor which i actually appreciate i like doctors that'll tell you like it friggin is and they're not going to sugarcoat things because you're on a damn diet so you both come all the way from missouri how you all feeling i'm retired but we're here well i'm glad you made it okay so let's take a look at your medical history and your current situation all right lee you are 714 pound and renee you are 549 pound and you both have significant health issues as a result of your weight. Renee, you're diabetic and you're taking an enormous amount of insulin. Yes. The same Damn, diabetic. That's one thing I was also worried about. I don't know how I wasn't friggin' diabetic, but these two together are definitely probably in some of the worst conditions we've seen. But no, we've seen people that can't get out of bed at all, so they're not that bad. They still have a lot of hope that they should keep alive. Same seems to be the case for Lee, too. And I see you're on oxygen. So you're no longer able to breathe on your own because of your weight. And Lee, you have high blood pressure, you have sleep apnea, you have gout, you have acid reflux, high cholesterol, depression. There is no way your body is going to be able to sustain your weight for much longer at all. Damn, Lee's got a friggin' novel of medical things going on with him. So, uh, he must take all kinds of medications, all stuff like that. He's lucky that he even made it into his 40s, to be honest. You need to fully understand how close to death you are right now, and that you two are in a very bad place. You realize that? Yes, sir. Jerry. I wish they played like knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door when they say stuff like that, but I, that would probably be a little too far. The reality is, you have been enabling each other for years. And Lee, you're almost completely immobile now. Are you able to stand up at all? I'm pretty active. I can walk 20, 30 feet with these canes pretty good. Pretty active is 20 or 30 feet? Slow down, soldier. Whoa, you don't need to run in any marathons here today. If you think that's pretty active, then you're a little delusional about that. Lee and Renee's bodies are starting to completely fail. So my biggest concern is whether they can stop enabling each other in time to make a significant difference before it's too late. So Man, I love Doctor Now. That guy is not, he's not here to sugarcoat things. He's going to tell you how bad it is. You need to do something about it. You don't have time to play around. 1,200 calorie, low carb diet. That's always how it just goes. So are you both here to tell me that you're ready to make the change you need to turn your life around? Oh yeah. Yes. All right. 
this here is your new 1,200 calorie a day diet and high calorie food that we're gonna avoid. You are to eat. Uh oh, here comes the calorie contract. I don't think anybody would be happy reading that. They just ate at Sonic on the way down. The meals that they ate probably were somewhere in the two to three thousand calorie range, just right there. So you're talking like half of that meal that they can have in a whole day. Eat only what's approved in this high protein and low carb diet and nothing else. I don't want you both get up and find something active to do every day, no matter what. Neither of you would be able to survive any surgery right now. To change that, you both need to lose a lot of weight. Renee, I want you to lose 75 pounds to get all your medical issues under control so we can safely do surgery. Lee, I want you to lose 150 pounds and get down to around 560. Stick. 150, he was at 714. Yeah, I guess that is 560. Sorry, bad math in my head. But doable, hard. I mean, they're really going to have to stick to the diet to do that. I'd be lying if I said I thought that that was like an easy target. Sometimes Dr. Now is a little more lenient here. But if they want to change their lives, uh, this is their chance. You don't get second chances like this very often. That's why I kind of praise Dr. Now for always being like that. And I just noticed he's missing his blinged out stethoscope. Sticking to the diet I'm giving you will get you to these goals. And when you walk out of this office, you're going to leave your old ways behind. If you want to live. This really is a race against time, and hopefully they realize that enough to make the changes they need now, or they're not going to survive. If they don't realize just how bad it is with the way they're living at home at this point, I, there's not any hope for them. But most people, when they get this bad, are kind of like, okay, I see the error of my ways, I need to change, I want my friggin' life back. Like, I want to be able to go out and do things without it being like a whole day thing in a wheelchair and all that breaking down on the side of the road. I just want a new life. I want my life back. So Renee and me started playing video games that require us to get active. Honest. At first I could only do it for a few minutes, but now we're playing whole games and getting competitive. Yes. I used to sit there and do wee bowling as a kid, like a lazy as hell on the couch like that. And just yeah, kind of toss it like that. So they're not burning a ton of calories, but I'll never, ever crap talk someone for trying. Any way you try, I'll praise you for it because they're obviously not going to be friggin' running laps anywhere. But by this time next month, I hope to be able to get up and get around the house a little bit for my exercise. And the score is 163 to 124. I beat you. <laughs> How about a rematch? All right. Love you. <laughs> But the heart was that a wink or a sugar attack? I don't know what exactly happened there, but uh, I the competitive part of me would not allow me to lose at this. We'd play until I want. Part has been cutting back our diet. My biggest fear was when Lee gets cravings and he doesn't get what he wants, he can get very angry, but he hasn't been doing that. I think we've done really good. And that's been a huge relief because I feel like we're in this together. Okay, the portions look a little big, but it doesn't look like they're struggling to change their diet, which is always a good thing because most people struggle right off the bat, myself included. It's hard to change your ways, man. You're kind of stuck in them. And if you're not ready to like fight this out in the long term, you're not going to be successful. It's the fight for your life. Honey, we ready to do a little exercising? Ooh. I feel like this last month and a half has been good. It's been a struggle, but Lee is able to do a whole lot more. I've never done that exercise with my resistance band because I'd be afraid that I'd tie bow myself in the nuts if it slipped off my foot. But I also don't think that they're burning that much doing that. Is that a legit exercise right there? The lean back, like the fat Joe exercise? Is, does that work? And I feel that it's easier to have someone to do this with. I've been trying to exercise more, get around more, stay out of bed more. Just push through the pain and keep on keeping on. 
and I've been able to get up and do some walking around the house. So I feel like we're both making good progress. I actually really like seeing this. Like, I joke around a lot, but I'm always so happy when people actually friggin' try. All right, sweetheart, you ready for some breakfast? But the food has been a little harder still. And we've caved a few times because the portion sizes on the doctor's plan are just really small. So I'm still really hungry when I finish my meal. It definitely sucks to be hungry, but you gotta come to the terms with the fact that it's okay to be hungry. Tortilla is okay on a low carb diet. I don't usually touch it because I'm on a low carb diet right now. I just want to stay as w away from as many carbs as I could. The only thing I had for breakfast was turkey bacon, and I've had a protein shake today. That's it. But I want to lose weight for Renee as well as myself. So I have two reasons to do it instead of one. So I'm not giving in. That dog is praying to God that they give him a scrap. But they're on a diet, buddy, and they just said how damn hungry they are. I don't think you're going to get any table scraps this time, poor little guy. Lee and me are at our second appointment with Dr. Now. And there's so much riding on us hitting our goals today. The doc wanted me to lose at least 75 pounds over the last two months and get down to 474. She does look like she lost some weight to me, so I think hers are going to be pretty good. The jury's still out on him. I can't really tell. Maybe a little. It's kind of hard to tell when you get way, way up there. So I'm just praying that I've gotten down to that. Okay, not bad. Part of me is happy to see such a loss, but I'm disappointed because it's not as much as I was supposed to lose. Oh. It's the moment of truth for me. I'm supposed to have lost 150 pounds to get down to 564 today. And I've worked really hard to hit that goal. Not bad at all. Okay, both of them started out a hell of a lot better than most other people do. So I'm really surprised that nobody struggled at all to change their ways. But I guess that their situation was getting so bad that they were really locked in on like, hey, this is what needs to be done. We're going to do this no matter what. I'm excited about that, but it's still 50 pounds away from Dr. Now's goal. So I have no idea what to expect right now. But I've been... I don't think Dr. Now will be mad about it. I just don't think he'll approve you just based off of that. I'm having a lot of issues with pain, and I'm worried something is wrong with my stomach. But hopefully, a doctor can help me. I don't feel good at all. Come in. Hello. Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? All right. Good to see you both. So, let's see how much you lost. Renee, you made it down to 507 pounds. Right. Yeah. And Lee, you're down to 619 pounds. So both of them are just shy of breaking under 600, under 500. You got to take small victories like that, man. If you don't pat yourself on the back once in a while, it's going to be a long damn time because you're looking at years of dieting to get to where you need to be at this point. So I'm encouraged by your progress, but it's too little of weight loss to bring the risk factor for surgery to an acceptable level. So you both are still not ready for any kind of weight loss surgery. But with the progress that we've made, you should notice some difference in how you're feeling and in your mobility. Are you both feeling any better? No, I'm having a lot of pain. What's going on? You lost 100 pounds, you're getting around the house better. You should just say, yeah, I'm more mobile, but I'm in pain. This guy's like a Debbie Downer, man. I don't. He never says anything happy ever. Oh, no. My stomach, but right here, through to my side and back, it's just really painful. How bad is the pain? Anytime I move or walk or strain, it pulls and just really burns and hurts, and it just kills me. I can't get any relief. Why did you call me about this? I figured I... Because we're men. Men hate going to the doctor at the end of the day. 
It would take me, like, months to even call the doctor when something was wrong with me. I should have been hospitalized so many times that I just sat there and almost died. See you. So you let it get worse until it's causing you severe pain now, and this may be an emergency issue. One little thing can kill you. So right now, I want to admit you to hospital immediately to do an endoscopy to figure out what's going on. Lee and Renee should have made more progress. But my... They still didn't do that bad, barring the, like, serious health issues with him. She has a list of her own things going on that are pretty bad. So hopefully both of them keep going down this path, but I think they'll definitely get approved. They started out pretty strong, not as strong as like Brandon or anything. The guy that lost, what, almost 200 freaking pounds in two months? Concern right now is Lee's stomach pain and that the cause is gallstones, which can become a deadly situation if... Can't they just take your gallbladder though? Like, isn't it not necessary? I'm pretty sure you don't need a gallbladder, so he should be fine just to lose that thing. They're not treated. If they get too bad, there'll be nothing we can do for Lee because he won't be able to survive surgery. Okay, we're going to discuss what you both need to do later. But right now, I want to get you to the hospital, Lee, and find out what's causing you pain, and hopefully this is not an emergency situation. I don't think they'd perform surgery on him right now to get his gallbladder out anyway. Like, I think they're just going to wait until he has to have the weight loss surgery, if anything, rather than risk putting him down just for his gallbladder to come out. But Lee is lucky because right now they have not advanced to any sort of infection or attack in his body. But that will inevitably be the outcome if we don't treat them. However, the problem still remains, that his body is in extremely poor condition medically, and there is no... Okay, so it was gallstones. Doctor now knew what the hell was going on. I guarantee he's seen that happen to a lot of people. I'm not even sure what causes those, but it was something they were worried about with me too, because they definitely were worried about possibly taking my gallbladder while they were in there, cutting out my stomach and they just decided not to. They mentioned maybe doing it later, but I haven't heard anything else about it, so I assume I'm good to go. No issues here. I'm telling what issues he can develop quickly that will end his life. So he and Renee both need to keep losing weight so we can address the issues before it's too late. How are you feeling, Lee? You ready to go home? Yes. All right, we get you all. Why does his buddy have like a gaming headset on with a little microphone? You think he's over there with like on the CB radio, like calling in, Bravo, that's a big six niner. We just pulled it in the Sonic. On the road now, but I want to see you both back here in one month. Okay. And I want you to hit the weight loss goals that I gave you because we need to get you to a much healthier place immediately. And you both have no more time to waste. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, see you all soon. Thank you. At least they know the severity of the situation. Both of them are starting out good. That's what I'll say. But it's a hell of a lot of work to be done. And most people aren't willing to put in the level of work that needs to be done. And me and Renee are sticking to our diet and exercise exactly like we're supposed to including our portion sizes. I am going to keep losing weight until Dr. Now says you are approved for the surgery, no matter how long it takes. Okay, that's the right friggin' attitude. It's kind of refreshing to see somebody have a good attitude about it. That's a hell of a lot of chicken, but then again, chicken breast is not that high calorie, so they're probably not going too much over the 1,200, but I would think they're definitely going over because I want to live a longer life. Renee has lost her whole family, and I don't want to lose me too. We know. Oh yeah, if they're putting a regular ranch in that because that didn't look like right light ranch, they're definitely going over the friggin' calories. And cheese, which is super high calorie. Oh, even more this time, how important it is to do this. 
and I'm not letting Lee get in a situation like he was again. I want both of us to get surgery, but I definitely want him to get approved because I feel he has less time than me. But I His burrito is big as hell. Like, that's a big Chipotle, like, big mama burrito. Hers looks tiny like it should be for Dr. Now's diet. So Lee, in my opinion, is kind of doing lazy keto, but what the hell ever. As long as he's losing weight, keep losing it, buddy. I'm happy for you. No, I don't have much longer either. Because I can feel how sick and run down I'm getting. So no matter what, we can't fail at this. It's been a really hard month moving here and working to lose more weight. I just hope it's all about to pay off because I feel like my body's breaking down like Lee's, and I feel- At least she walked into the clinic, though. She doesn't even have her chair with her. Lee's still rolling, but she's walking. Even if she feels bad, she's pushing through it. Terrible right now. Lee and Renee? Dr. Now told me to lose another 25 pounds this past month. Smooth. So that means I need to be just below 482 today. Okay, so she's doing good. Like, she's definitely on track. I like seeing that with her. I'm happy for her. Now, I'm curious if Lee's keeping up with her because he's definitely the least active of the two. Awesome. Good job, baby. I'm really happy with that. All right. I'm nervous. Because I need to have lost another 50 pounds to get below 569 today. But I'm hoping I just blew past that number and lost even more. Wow. Awesome. Damn, I'm shocked both of them are doing this good. This is, like, so friggin' rare to see. I had no idea that this was a good one. I thought that they both effed up at some point, but I guess not. Maybe I was, like, wildly mistaken here. I'm feeling good about my progress. It, it makes me proud of myself that I worked extra hard. So there should be no reason that me and Renee don't get approved for surgery today. Yeah, come on in. Hello. Hello. How y'all doing? Doing all right. Good. All right. So, Lee, how's your stomach pain? It hurts from here all the way through my back, but the pain medicine helps a lot. Well, what? I guess you could tell he's in pain because he's always got a face on like he has to fart or something. That look on his face just is kind of funny to me. It looks like he's got all kinds of gas pain, but they'll get rid of the gallbladder whenever he has surgery. Take care of it. But let's see where both of your weight loss is at. Renee, you lost 31 pounds with the total weight loss of 73 pounds. And Lee, you lost 47 pounds. That's 142 pounds so far, huh? Yeah. So congratulations. You both are approved for weight loss surgery. We ran some tests to make sure there are no issues, but you both done well and I'm proud of you. Yep. And I'm shocked. I don't think I've ever seen two people just kind of come in here, do this good off the start. Maybe I have, but it's so rare because you just have to change everything in your life. Myself included, I effed around for a long time, was up and down, up and down. So, I mean, I'm shocked that they're doing this good off the bat with the way they were acting before. I bet you both already feeling better with all that weight off of you. I'm feeling really good. I've been able to stand and, and walk more, actually. But I've been feeling really sick for about a week, maybe a little longer. What's going on? I got some kind of pain in my chest and... It feels like somebody's just pulling my chest apart. And then I started coughing stuff up yesterday, and it started out being clear. Maybe upper respiratory infection. Pneumonia would be, like, worst-case scenario. I had pneumonia right after weight loss surgery. It was bad, man, for about a month. Like, I could barely get up, walk around. Like, every breath hurt. I was, like, getting dizzy. My vision was going black. And I still didn't go to the damn doctor. And when I finally did, they tried to send me to the hospital, and I refused. I signed a paper saying I ain't going. 
Just look at your chest X-ray, and you do have a pneumonia in the right lung. So we Damn. need to send you to the hospital, OK? We need to start treating you for this immediately so that your condition doesn't start to deteriorate any further. And that sucks. I didn't think she was actually going to have pneumonia. I was just throwing that out as like a worst case scenario in this situation. You need to be separated and quarantined from Lee because he can't afford to get sick right now at all. Okay? All right. Renee, yeah. I'll see you in the hospital, okay? All thank right, you. thank you. And this unfortunately means that both their surgeries are delayed because now the priority is making sure Renee even survives to get it. But isn't it called, is there a thing called walking pneumonia? I always hear people throw that around like, hey, this is walking pneumonia. But I don't know if that's a real thing or not. I just hear people say it all the damn time. I'm very nervous, terrified. And I know that there is a possibility that I may not wake up. I don't think I got nervous until like the last minute. Up until then, I was like, I don't care what you do. Just get my damn stomach out. You can do it with a friggin' like spoon if you have to. Just get the damn thing out of there so I can lose more weight faster. But it's a chance I'm willing to take. Because if I don't do this, I can fall back and eat myself to death. So I'm risking my life to have a better life. That's kind of the gist of it. You risk your life so you can have a future. And a lot of people are like, well, they're losing weight already. Why do they need the surgery? You can't stick to a diet for three years. Some of you can't do it for three weeks. So don't tell me that you would sit here and diet for three years to get this weight off. Don't you want to take it off a lot quicker? Because it's just so much. It's a lot to friggin' overcome. Lee's been home. What's with all the monkeys on the wall that are like nailed to the cross? Why'd she do that to all of them? From the hospital for about a month. Oh and he's my. been off his liquid diet and he's fully recovered. Oh oh. So I've been making him start to do things for himself for the first time in a long while. Because I'm intent on getting my surgery now. I bet he's a hell of a lot more cranky if he has to start doing things for himself. This guy is definitely used to being catered to, and I don't know if he's going to adjust very well to this whole situation. So he's actually going to have to take care of me, and he has no choice about it. But I know it's been hard for Lee to try to clean himself and use the bathroom on his own. Water everywhere. I don't give a I gotta get the stench and the filth off me one way or another. A month or two ago, I wouldn't have never even been able to do this. I had to have the. It's kind of crazy the little things that you can make yourself feel proud about. Just doing the smallest things that everyone else takes for granted. But I guarantee he's pretty happy to be able to do that himself when he struggled before to do anything. Wheelchair for everything. Oh my god. I feel like I ran a marathon. I know. I'm proud of Lee for trying, but what I'm worried Straight bareback on the bed though? You're gonna get butt crack juice all over that thing. The dog's already up there. The poor buddy's gotta Ugh, come on, man. Worried about how he's falling back into his old eating habits. Already? Now that Lee's had surgery, it's like he stopped trying to stick to the diet. And oh, shit. I was just singing this guy's praises. How the hell did I know? He's been doing so good this whole time. Now you're going to tell me he just Fs it all up? Why? 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 How is he eating a month after surgery? I didn't even want to eat. It hurts. It doesn't feel good. And that's worrying me. I can't figure out why he's doing this now. And his temper has been coming back when he's craving something. I know Renee hasn't been too happy when I make poor food choices. But now that I had the surgery, I thought it would take away all the cravings for the food that I shouldn't eat. How the hell are you eating that whole thing? 
If I tried to eat a sausage a month after surgery, I would be violently ill. That's a lot of damn food. I'd be sh You're not even supposed to eat a sausage that soon. I don't think you get back to like solid, solid food until two months. But it hasn't. So I need her to let up a little and to get off my back because this isn't easy. Really start doing the best we can and I not know. just say that. I know, I know I fell back and I know that I've messed up, but the whole overwhelming of the move and the not yes. Oh, shut up. You've moved so long ago and now you're going to tell me that you're sucking down sausages to make you happy? Who the hell is this guy think he's fooling? Like, he's not fooling her, and I, she just, I don't think she wants to argue with him, though. She, he kind of just controls the whole house, really. Having my norm. I went just... through that, too. Mm. That's what you don't understand. Tell it. Will you admit that we're not doing as well here as we should do? We are. But I'm not talking about just eating. I don't, no, we're not. I'm talking about everything. Ooh, we're gonna turn into my 600 pound Jerry Springer. I love me a little bit of drama. Let's see how far this can go. Because things have been harder between me and Lee. And it's starting to feel like all we do is fight. He's still been overeating and doing things he shouldn't. And he's even starting to tell me that I shouldn't get surgery and I don't know why. We missed our last appointment with Dr. I can tell you right now what's happening. He's got his surgery. He don't want you to be in a better position because then maybe he thinks you'll leave him or maybe he thinks that everything's just going to be peachy keen from here, here on for him and that he just doesn't need you anymore. So he was just using you until he didn't need you. But I would say it's kind of insecure. He doesn't want you to be better off for yourself because then he thinks you'll just leave him because he kind of sucks. After now, because Lee didn't want to go because he knows he's overeating, but it was completely selfish of him because it's my turn to get weight loss surgery. Things are- What the hell do you mean you sabotaged her weight loss, you sausage-sucking maniac? Let her go get the damn surgery. You got it first for a reason. She was sick. She had pneumonia. She was in the hospital. So you get it. And now you're going to tell me, oh, you shouldn't get it. You don't need it. Yada, yada, yada. Well, you needed it, and you're still eating all the shit you're not supposed to. They're even worse than ever. Every morning, you start a fight. I don't understand why you can't back off. You just keep pushing my buttons. But that doesn't give you the right to mistreat somebody. The only time you are ever nice to me or talk to me like a human is when you need or want something. Yeah. What do I do the rest of You call time? me an F and B or a when C. When you start calling me or, names. No, I don't. I don't throw those words around very lightly. I feel like if I throw them around, I'm probably going to end up hurting that situation. But maybe she just grabs him by the gut and throws him down or something. Yeah. You're Last always... night you said there... You call me a liar more than you call me Lee. Everything no, that goes wrong, you take out on me. No, I don't. Constantly take out on me. I am not physical with you. No, you drive me there. There is nothing to drive a person to physical no he didn't he was able to get out of the bed all of a sudden and then he turns into the fat and furious like cage fighter what the hell is wrong with you buddy she needs to just like kneecap him take him down and make him lay there you constantly put me down tell me i'm low i tell you that yeah well you tell me on a daily basis how worthless i am I actually think you're pretty low if things got physical with her. Renee, I've said all along I've got a problem. You have lots of problems. You have an anger problem. You have a violent problem. Your head has a problem. It doesn't matter anymore. It ain't gonna work. I do not desire to be with you. We are never... You didn't say that when she was doing the little jug move on your jingle berries. Like, oh, you suck. I hate the fact that he used her. Oh, that puppy's so cute. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. But I hate the fact that he used her until he didn't need her. 
And then it was like, oh, well, you don't need the surgery. I'm good to go. Oh, man, you suck. You suck a lot. Ever going to see eye to eye or what? Been with him 11 years and he'd never been violent. It's like he's just changed into this person that's so mean and so hateful. I don't think it changed at all. I just think he was finally able to get up more and he wasn't totally dependent on you. So his true colors just kind of showed. Before that, it was, I love you, baby. Hand me some popcorn. Thanks. He was like Powder Puff Princess. Like he just needed everything done for him. Our lives are changing. We become two different people. I'm not the man that's stuck in the bed no more that she takes care of. Now I want to be my own person. And personally, I don't want David here. I've told him to leave so many times because he stands up for her. They take up for each other. Sometimes I wonder if something's going on. I don't know. Oh, no. David's diddling? Oh, my God. This just turned into a whole different kind of fun for me. Now I get to run this whole narrative in my head about what David's doing. If they're doing, like, bumping uglies in some wheelchairs here, like, how's this going to work out? That's a lot of our problem, too. I can continue on my journey, continue with my weight loss, and do what I got to do to finish my journey, even if it's by myself. Good for you. I always say in a breakup, focus on bettering yourself instead of spiting someone else. But the petty in me is using his toothbrush to clean the toilet. Like, he'll never know. You could do it. Or you could freaking wipe up the dog's turds with it. I don't know. But I'm getting even here. That's for damn sure. Focusing on what I need to do to try and get approved for surgery today. Lee and Renee. Hello. Hey, look, the bare knuckle obesity guy doesn't have any freaking wheelchair this time. Does that mean he's going to get more physical? Oh, man, I just hate that so much. It's been hard since my surgery. But I feel like I'm still making good progress. When I left the hospital, I was down to 546. And the doctor now told me I should easily lose 20 pounds a month. I don't think so. So I should be at or below 500 pounds. Oh, you fucking suck. How many sausages did you have? Jesus! That's a lot of damn glizzies he had to gobble to get only nine pounds? And you skipped the first... Holy shit, Lee. You suck a whole lot of balls. Wow. wow. I thought I'd be further along. Lost a little. Yeah. Can do better. I gotta start making better food choices. I like the way she said that. It was kind of subtle. It didn't feel like a shot. She should have definitely taken a shot. She should have laughed her ass off at Mr. I don't need you anymore. I don't desire you. But you don't eat so much yogurt. It's old. Well, you're in front of the judge next. I had already hit my weight loss goal, but Dr. Now told me that I've had to keep making progress. I was down to 476 at our last appointment. I'm hoping to have lost 20 to 30 pounds and be around 450. Awesome. Okay, for you sabotaging her, she's still running circles around your ass, Lee. So you lost nine, she didn't have the surgery and lost 48. Ooh, doctor now is about to rip this guy a new one. Oh, wow. Wow. Wunderbar. Now that I am recovered from the pneumonia, I hope that Dr. Now says that he's proud of the progress that I've made and that I am approved for gastric. Damn, I'm wearing the same black camo shorts right now. I'm going to have to burn these things. I hate this guy so much. Bypass. Hello. Hello, Dr. Now. How you all doing? Surviving. Surviving, huh? So is that surviving off Kit Kats and regret? Get the king of the Kit Kat, Doctor. Now rip him a new one. That why you missed your last appointment? Mm. Okay, you just had your bypass about two months ago, 
And when you left the hospital, you were down to 546. So you lost only nine pounds since then. But Renee has lost almost 50 pounds at the same time. And she... I'm going to give you a little idea here. In the first 90 days, I lost close to 90 pounds. And I was still drinking sweet tea. So I don't know what the F this guy's doing. But I was not even totally bought in at that point. The fact that he only lost 9 pounds is blowing me the hell away. Hasn't even had her bypass yet. What in the world is going on with you? I guess I'm eating wrong things. <laughs> you think it's funny? You have a gastric bypass. I had a gastric bypass, To yes. lose weight. To lose weight. And you're not losing weight. I don't eat a third what I oh, ate just before I had the that question. surgery. Okay. The only thing I can figure is he had the gastric bypass and went on the gusher diet and just went friggin' crazy out here. Then You're we're not asking talking me about questions that. that I don't understand no more than you understand. What are you talking about? You're choosing to overeat and you think it's okay? No, I don't think it's okay at all. So what is going on? I guess I'm not eating the right things. I mean... We gave you... You guess. Oh, you solved the riddle, Lee. You're a friggin' genius. I don't desire to be with you, so I'm gonna desire some more dessert. The instruction that you need Douche. to follow, and you never yeah. follow it. You play your cards right until you get the... Oh, God, I hate this guy. I just need a second. He definitely played his cards right until he got what he wanted. The surgery, and now you're playing this kind of game, and you think that's okay? I don't say somebody... how I'm playing in a game. I throw up constantly. I eat what I can keep down. That's how it works. You throw up constantly because the surgery forces you to when you overeat now. I think my problem is, is I'm holding a lot of fluid. I can't hardly pee. Really? I mean, I don't, I don't. Okay, Flipper, you are not holding that much damn fluid to lose nine pounds in two months after they took your damn stomach. Like... What, maybe we need to amputate something else here. If you lose your stomach and you still go back to eating the same way, just because you think the surgery is going to do everything for you, it doesn't work like that. So you're going to have to take some like accountability here. You're effing up. There's no fluid. There's no nothing like that. You just thought the surgery solved everything. It doesn't, man. Your whole life has to change around it. I don't know what, I mean, you... What do you mean you don't know? And yeah. you think that you're not eating and you're getting I don't want to get malnourished either. Do you oh, look fuck. like you're malnourished? You're overeating and whatever you're overeating, you're throwing up. It means the surgery is working to hold you back when you make bad choices. And it's... Honestly, though, after the surgery, like, if you feel even the slightest bit full... You better stop eating or you're going to throw up because it's as easy as going in like you have to burp and it'll come right the hell back up. The only reason that you didn't gain 100 pounds these past two months. Do you not want me to eat at all? You know that's not what I'm saying at all. Starve, you Satan. You have been given a tool to help you change your life. Now that you had the surgery, the physical drive to eat is gone. So you have to deal with what is driving you to eat. That's to be fair, I think we're working with all kinds of reserves. None of us are going to starve, but lose weight? Yeah, you definitely should be losing some damn weight, Lee, at this point. The hard part, and you don't want to do it. And you're running from it and self-destructing. I'm done with this conversation. Go to her. No, 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 we're going we're gonna to finish with you. No, we're not finishing with me. You're making me mad. Yeah, sit leaving. down right there. Hey. Damn, Flipper's trying to swim away. All that damn water weight, he's floating off. Wait, sit down, sit I don't down. Down. No, I'm... Wait, sit down. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is completely unacceptable. I can't believe he just pushed Dr. Now out of the way. That old man could have one to him, but she grabbed him by the leash right there, and he couldn't even get away from her holding his shirt. So I'm not confident in his ability to be that physical. But then again, it's never any all right or any level of it all right on that point or on that issue. I mean, his behavior right now is very alarming. But he's starting to realize some of the issues that have been driving him to eat. And if Lee chooses to avoid those issues and run right now, 
then he's going to continue on the same path that he was, where he's not going to survive another year. It's pretty funny when you storm out and you have to wait for your ride because your uh, girlfriend's still in there. But he definitely got a little angry, but his ass is stuck. He ain't going nowhere. Renee, you stayed on track, despite how Lee's behaving, and I'm proud of you for that. So you should be ready for weight loss surgery. However, Lee is creating an environment that you can't succeed in long term. No one can do this without support. No one. And if I... Really? No, this is not going where I think it is. I give you surgery now without addressing what's going on with Lee and we'll be setting you up for failure. So I'm going to send you both to therapy and I want you to convince Lee to go. If he's... Are you kidding me? Like he's already effing up everything for her and now she's got to go to therapy instead of getting the surgery that she's been working like crazy. She's the one that's been killing it, doing everything. And he somehow gets it first because she babied him the whole way through it. And now she doesn't get it because she needs to go to therapy with the tiramisu titan. Starts to get back on track. I'm confident you have the support you need at home. Then I'll approve you for surgery. Okay. All right, any other questions? No. Okay, I'll see you soon. I usually don't get mad at doctor now, but come on, man. You're really going to blue ball her like that because she's doing everything right. I'm so upset with Lee right now. Because once again, his issues are taking priority over mine. And I'm worried I'm going to have to give up on our relationship. Exactly. Go out there, kneecap the knob job and leave him laying there on the sidewalk. Because if Lee wants to mess up his life and his chance, I can't let it destroy mine. I just feel bad for her, man. I really like her. I even liked him a little at first, but now he's just pissing me the hell off. So, what's been the struggle since getting here to Texas? Since this journey mm -hmm. has started, he has changed and become a different person. And how do you feel about that person? I don't like it. I don't like him. Is that different? He gained some level of confidence with losing a little bit of weight and thought, I had the surgery. I'm better than you because you haven't had it yet. I don't. You should be supportive. You should be supporting each other. She took care of him for so damn long. And now you're going to tell me he turns around and just decides, you don't need this surgery, F you, and screws everything up for her? Difficult for you to hear, Lee? I don't know what kind of person she wants me to be. I want you to communicate with I will me. conversate with you. I want you to... If you don't turn around and tell me I'm not paying attention when That's I say something, call me a liar. That's part of conversating. Hear her. Hear her. Communicate, calorie cyclops. Like, what the hell is wrong with that? As a man, there's a point where you can be like, hey, I don't want to talk about this anymore, and I would recommend walking away if that's the issue. But at a certain point, I don't really feel like she's nagging him too bad. She seems very level-headed, very nice about everything. You guys are in a relationship for this damn long. You're going to tell me you two can't talk some things out because you're that stubborn and that stuck in your own ways? You suck. Okay, but this is why we can't communicate because he either over-talks me, what I'm interrupts saying. me, or what won't I'm let saying, me finish. What I am seeing is that when we're... I don't think he's probably ever got her to finish, but all right. Renee starts to express herself. Yes. And she's expressing emotions related to how she experiences you. You kind of flare up. So at what point did you all start talking to each other in uh, this we, way? We had some pretty good fights. He We're became violent. violent. Physically? And he is, Physically violent. And he has yeah, never been and, like that. There's only been a couple instances. It ain't like I hit her every day, but... Never, ever, ever, ever will I put my hands on a woman. I don't care how much I love her, how much she pisses me off, how angry I am. I will walk away. I will go listen to some angry music, drive around in the car, come back later when I'm level-headed. But generally, when I get mad, I need like five minutes to cool the hell off. So if you give me five minutes, I'll be good after that. And I'll go right back to my happy, jubilant self. But Lee, it's important not to realize minimize what she what... Did, has done to me. You know, the verbal, the... You know, screaming and the... Uh...
So it sounds like the two of you... I have never cussed you, called you names, you like you do me. Like you cuss me, you, you call me names. You constantly are putting me down. And so let me ask this. When you began this relationship, what did you expect? The one main reason I am trying therapy and trying to make this work is because I know the first 10 years that me and him were together, he was never abusive. I mean, I get trying to make it work, but honestly, I just feel like she's way too damn good for this guy. She took care of him all that time just for him to get in a little bit better position and then decide like, hey, I don't need you. I don't desire you. I don't yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to start messing up stuff for you. Buddy, I cannot get over how much this guy sucks. Okay. That's not who he was. I I've never punched her, never slapped her. Anything like that. Unfortunately, Lee. She ran at me with her fist up. I grabbed her by her hands and I kicked her because she was going to hit me. I was holding his hand. To be fair, I don't think anybody ran at anyone. Maybe speed walked. But at the same time, if a woman were to run at me like like that, she could. I'm just going to probably try to stop her from hitting me in the face. But as, besides that, I don't think I'm going to start throwing kicks like a little toddler. Unfortunately, okay. physical abuse is always, always <laughs> wrong. I know this, but it ain't like I double my fist and knock the fist out of her. What it's people like have that. to realize is that domestic violence is progressive. If someone yells at you, yeah. they'll smack you. If someone smacks you, they'll kick you. Or if someone kicks you. you, they'll stomp you. We're talking stomping at 600 pounds. She's in for a hell of a lot of trouble, too. That's a that's like a bull stomping on you. If someone will stomp you, they will kill you. Have, People we die. we have been together all this time, and he had never been abusive, ever. You've never been in my face like you have been lately. In the time that Please. we've been in this room together, you, guys. I mean, there's times where you get so bad you won't stop. In the to be fair, I think all we have to do here is unhook his wheelchair and don't charge the damn thing, because there's no way he'd be able to get up there to kick. How'd he kick her anyway? Was it just like full speed at her shin or something? When the time you that we've was been, in excuse abusive. me, guys, I need you guys to get the severity of this. In the time that we've sat in this room together, there have been he women, angry. men, and children that have lost their lives within the minutes that we've been sitting in this room together from family violence. It's a real issue. And Lee, what you need to understand is the surgery removed your drug of choice as an option. And that withdrawal is bringing an anger issue to the surface that we need to do. I don't even think that's the damn issue because he still was sucking down the sausages like you saw earlier and eating a bunch of junk. He only lost nine pounds. He's eating so much, he's throwing up left and right. So I think he really just thought like, hey, I'm better off now. I can do a little bit for myself. I don't need her. So I'm going to find some other, I don't know what the hell he's thinking. But I don't think that it has anything to do with the food. I think it just has to do with him deciding that he's better off now and he don't need nobody because he's King Kong, whatever. Deal with and that you need to get under control. Anger is the manifestation of unmet needs, desires, and emotions. And the only way to break patterns of abuse are to develop new and healthy coping skills. And you have to learn how to walk away from unhealthy confrontation. And if you find... I mean, we've been learning to walk this whole time, so I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is just him being somewhat insecure and in I think he thinks that she loses weight she's just gonna leave him because he hasn't been the best guy to her that might be the path we're walking down find that you can't abstain from acting out in anger and getting physical with her you leave the relationship because it's a matter of life or death for the both of you I see where I what I'm doing wrong yeah. and now I feel I know that I need to change and I'm very sorry for the way I've treated you, Renee. And I'm going to do my best to do better. Oh. Okay, I didn't re expect any self-reflection here. He actually seemed like he was just going to be bullheaded the whole time. Maybe, 
Nah, he still sucks. I'm not going to give him a pass. I, I have to see you do better, not just say better. I love you. Let's just try to work through this. Renee, I want you to look at him really sternly, and I want you to tell him how if he ever lays a hand on you again, that's it. No discussion. You're out of there. Lee, if you ever touch me again, yeah. physically, I am gone. I will leave and I will go back home. I respect that. I don't believe that she actually would. She's far too kind-hearted. I feel like she would just take it and just decide that that's how her life is at that point. But I hope she would leave the guy. She really should at this point. He just has been a whole lot of trouble and not a whole lot of good for her. And that's okay. a promise. I accept that. So guys, thanks so much for being here today. Have a good night. You too. All right. Carrie, give me a little hand. Oh, out. yeah, I know. I feel like that went as well as it possibly could. I think he actually listened to what she had to say, and hopefully we can work on our relationship and maybe even rekindle what's been broke and learn to love each other again. Why does she always have a little black casting couch in her room, too? Because that just makes me go all kinds of weird places in my head. But hopefully their relationship is this much better later on. Because so far, a whole lot of eff like effed up stuff and just terrible the way they communicate, work together. I don't like it at all. I don't like the dynamic. But if he actually does do some self-reflection and change, I think they could be good for each other. Because they both know kind of where they're coming from. But... I don't know if I see it or not. This relationship's pretty toxic, in my opinion. Therapy, I've been working on the relationship, so Dr. Alice, okay, we got to her surgery. Oh, we're past my, me has been. I can't look at that hat without thinking this girl is on fire. He's recognizing the need to deal with some issues. And I feel he has made enough progress to where Renee will have enough of the support that she needs to safely go through surgery and recovery. But in the off chance, this is all just another act from me right now. We are standing ready to intervene and remove Renee from her environment if Lee start to fall back into his own behavior. And that's good to hear. At least Doctor Now is that concerned about her health and safety that he wants to protect her at all costs. I like that, man. He's a very involved doctor. He seems to actually care about people. But we can't allow Renee to undergo any abuse while she recovers. And if we so much as threaten to hit Renee, then we will have to intervene and to separate them to keep her safe and allow her to recover without any life-threatening incidents. While she's vulnerable, that just sounds kind of scary to me. The fact that he could just fly off the handle, go into a rage, attack her over some Reese cups, that's pretty damn scary. Because he's already showed that he is willing to push it to the next level, which I don't think any guy ever should. It just, it disgusts me when I think about a guy taking it that far. So we'll stand ready just in case things aren't as they seem with Lee. But hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully he does better. That's what I've been thinking this whole damn time though. And he just continues to amaze me. She's been home from the hospital for a month now. And I've made a big effort to be there for her and support her and take care of her. And I feel like we're in a really good place right now. In fact, now that we're losing so much weight, we're finally able to do something we never have before. We've been together for 10 years or 11 years and we had never had intercourse before, but now it's possible because we've lost three. Oh my god, no. I did not expect this was going the stinky twinky route. Ten years? No wonder the guy was pissed off. He's been sitting there just doing the jug all this time. Oh man, not naughty. Oh, I'm not going to go any further into this thought, this line of thought, but I'd be a little frustrated too. But that's still not a reason to go where he went, okay? I'm not giving him any excuses for that one. 350 pounds together. I want to marry Renee, and I never thought I'd have the chance to actually do that. So I'm going to keep working to make that reality for both of us. 
and I'm not going to do anything to screw that up from here on out. You better the hell not, or you won't be screwing anything but that jug. How are you today? Good, how are you? Um, I'm uh, looking for some carnations. All right, what kind of carnations? Oh, maybe can I see what you have? Sure. Wow, that's beautiful. What would it be for like a bouquet with that monkey of different colors? That's right, Valentine's Day is coming up. I gotta order some damn flowers to my girl's work. I forgot about that. Colors put together. Would you do that for me? Sure, no problem. I'm really excited to surprise Renee with flowers. This is a symbol of my love. It's a symbol of what I have to give, and I hope she sees that. I love What's with the obsession with the stuffed monkeys, too? I mean, I get that people like what they like, it just seems weird that they have them pinned all over their walls at home. Renee, with all my heart, and I want her to know that. I just can't see myself spending the rest of my life with no one else. Happy birthday to you. Careful. Happy birthday. The dogs Dear are excited. Nene. Happy birthday to you. Wow, thank you. Maybe he's a changed man, maybe I've been hard on him, but I'm still not happy that he decided to try to kick her in the shin. Very much. You're my favorite. I named him Ernie. You're a monkey. You like him? Yeah. Thank you. I got something else. We ain't done yet. Don't tell me this is a coupons like sex thing. Oh God! Oh, come on! No, it's not. On your birthday, I celebrate the unique and special person you are, and all the things I love about you. And I realize once again how very much you mean to me. Happy birthday! Love you, Lee. He's a changed man. I'll give him a little bit of a pass. I didn't think it was going to happen. I thought he was just going to kind of be the sucky guy that he was the whole time. Thank you. You're very welcome. It meant very much to me for Lee to be able to go do it himself. It meant a lot. I've been really encouraged by these last couple of months because I feel like we're working together instead of against each other. So I'm really thankful for how things are right now and for how hard Lee has been trying to improve himself. I still would need to see him on the scale to know if he's actually trying to improve himself. Okay, Lee, look like you're down to 441. And that's total weight loss of 273 pounds. Great. And Renee, you're down to 306. And that is total weight loss of 243 pounds. That's wow, okay. So I guess he did just have a little slip up after surgery. I thought people that like messed up right after surgery had very low success rate. It's excellent. A few months ago, I wasn't sure if Lee was going to be able to get back on track and what the effect of that will be on Renee. But they're both doing well. And I'm very optimistic about their long-term progress. So how do you feel, Renee? I'm very, very blessed to be where I'm at, but I'm not where I want to be yet. I'm going to keep going. Good. Don't get complacent. A lot of people make that mistake. They get complacent, and then they start to gain back a bunch of weight. And you're going to get there. I'm proud of you both. Both of them are getting close to needing excess skin removal. And if they're both ready in the next couple months, I think Lee will agree that Renee should go first. Damn Skippy, but while we're at it, can we cut off the anal avocado tattoo on his arm? I just, I don't, I don't know why he has it. It's the weirdest thing. It's been tripping me out this whole time. I know I still need to lose a good amount of weight. 
Oh my god, is she shop like shopping for assless chaps? Cause that what it that's what it looked like. That's what it looked like was hanging right next to her. But I'm starting to like the way I look, and that's big progress for me. And this time last year, I wouldn't even be able to try on clothes at a store. I was pretty happy when I could try on some clothes anywhere I went anymore because I, I could squeeze in at like a 36 now. But before I was a 60. Good luck finding that at a friggin' store. Now I could just walk into Walmart wherever, buy a pair of jeans, I'm good to go. It's very exciting to be able to try smaller things on, to be able to come in a regular store and do this. It used to be I would get up and I didn't care what I looked like because I had to take care of Lee. And then I felt repulsive, so I didn't even try. Oh, you should always think highly of yourself. I don't care what how bad you are, but she definitely looks better now that she's doing some makeup and actually caring about herself. But when you sink into that level of just like down on yourself and that pit of depression, you don't want to do any of this stuff. So I feel for her, I'm happy. I'm really happy for her in the long run. And now I love getting ready for the day. So my world, Lee's world, and our relationship, they've all changed for the better. I look at Renee, and I just love her so much. So once we hit our goal weights, I'm going to propose to her. And the thought of being able to do that is what's driving me right now to do better and be better. Because that's what she deserves. Damn straight, the woman cared for you for over a decade. I'd say she deserves something in return, some level of just kindness and care. We both dreamed of a new life. And for the first time ever, we can finally see that life ahead of us. All right, so that is Lee and Renee. And honestly, I didn't know if they were gonna like ha be that successful. I just remembered the clip that always kind of circulates around the internet of him saying, do you look malnourished? Like, like Dr. Now saying that. But in the long run, a lot of them went through a hell of a lot together. And I'm shocked to say that they did that well. I didn't think Lee was going to be able to turn it around after messing up after surgery. But be nicer to her, man. She doesn't deserve to be treated that bad that you did somewhere along the middle. But leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what the hell you think. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah. I'll see y'all later. Bye.